Did you know to join F1, you need $28 million and to be abnormally short. Now I meet 50% of those requirements and my McDonald's breakfast came right out of my overdraft. Now you know what doesn't cost $28 million? Remote control cars. The issue with this is you need to have someone to play with. And I mean, look at me. Do I look like I have anyone to play remote control cars? So why not open this up to the hellhole that is the internet? Let anyone from anywhere in the world drive these cars around my house. And if you're thinking, haven't you done this before? Yeah, yeah I have. A few issues cropped up along the way. The cars were way too fast. The track broke. The camera feed just had straight hold on the way. And mobile was just a lost cause. Let's look at issue number one. Now the cars were way too fast on a smooth surface. Surface. Now I found this neat little trick to slow the cars down. If you look at this here, the flipping carpet will slow the cars down. So issue number two, the track completely fell apart. It was made of cardboard to be fair. My new genius plan, A, gives me a sturdy track. B, it keeps my girlfriend happy while filling our home with just random stuff. M more random stuff, I should probably say. And know the first thing that comes to your head, how on earth does this guy have a girlfriend? Great question, I have no idea myself. So I'm gonna use wooden beams fastened together with elastic bands. This way I can change the shape of the track to whatever I want and I can fold them away, keeping my Kara happy and our house semi tidy. So off to spend my life savings I go. Welcome to the world's first internet controlled remote control car racetrack. We need to think of some corner names. We've got the start finish straight. Looking back, not really a straight. <laughs> we come into a pretty hard right. Bin. Bin corner. Bin. B. Bin. Bin. Bonanza. The bin bonanza through the bin bonanza. Take a left at Guitar Ginnel by the radiator springs through the table tunnel down the long shoe rack straight. Come down through kitchen corner back at the start finish straight. Where's the actual start finish straight? It's wherever you want it to be. I haven't put anything down. All we've got left now is to get people driving on the track and make sure everything works. Which brings me on to issue number three. The video feed for the cars would get really choppy and just end up sucking. Now I kept getting DDoS last time. Now these rats just used to boot me off the internet and take me offline. I'm guessing they did this to mask the idea that they still live in their mum's basement and have no life as Anyway, to stop this, I had to hide my IP address and put you actually couldn't care less about any of this. Long story short, it works now. Okay, so my girlfriend has gone out, which means I'm allowed to do things that I wouldn't normally do in front of her. So it's time to get people to start driving these cars around my house. Now, where am I gonna find these people? Like I've said before, there's always somewhere you can find a random person on the internet. But first, I need to put on some show host attire. I feel like I'm going to a baptism. I felt this is the wrong vibe, but we're gonna roll with it anyway. Hey, Mr. Bean. What's up? Lovely man. He calls me Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a proposal for you. Can you give me 15 seconds of your time? Okay, what I have here is a remote control car racetrack. Nothing that exciting about that, but I also have a remote that control car. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. I like this it guy. Is. And I have a remote control car here. This car can be controlled from anywhere in the world. So I'm doing a bit of a challenge. I'm trying to see who can set the fastest lap. Do you want to give it a go? Poop it, why not? You can give me a fake name, give me a fake location. Okay, I think there's a language barrier with that one. <laughs> Give me your name and location. My name is, I don't know what my name is, and I'm okay. from Zimbabwe. My name is Omkar, uh, I live in Singapore. Okay, Jeff, you go. My name is David. Uh, I was born in England. Sorry about that. But I live in Australia right now. This is actually sick. Okay, Whoa. Yep. Damn, that is so cool. Please do, yeah. and I will give you a... Right. <laughs> can you drive in real life or no? Yeah, I can. Oh, well, make, I'm going to make sure I never come to Zimbabwe then. She's a bit delayed. Yeah, I can, I can sense she might be a bit delayed, yeah. Yeah. It's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm literally hooking the wall. How are you saying okay? Yeah, well, she's ain't bleeding. Moving, isn't she? Oh, she's a bit of a cunt. You know you can turn. I don't know how fast my diamond test. You're not yep, doing yep, bad. Yep, you're yep, doing yep, bad. Yep, yep. No, no, that's the wrong way. No, we've got, we've got the wrong way down the track. Back it up. Back it up. Backwards. Backwards. <laughs> there were some pretty fast laps in there, I'll be honest. Bro, this is bull poop. Maybe I should just move to Australia to give you a fair, a fair chance. Well, honestly. 
You know what? Honestly. It's all right. I did it. I did one lap. It's all you right. You did it. That's the important part. Maybe we'll consider this one a DNF. Well, thank you very, very much, Mr. No Name from Zimbabwe. Okay, so the result of the time trials are in bottom place is Mr. No Name from Zimbabwe with a big fat DNF. And coming up in third, we've got David from Australia with two minutes, 34 seconds. Australia's quite far away. And then in second, we've got Unkar from Singapore with one minute, 32. Pretty respectable lap. He was from Singapore, which is which is quite far away. And then meaning in first place, we have Jess from the UK with 54 seconds. I didn't realize afterwards I'd had a misconfigured setting and there was about a half second delay for the controls. Might have been why so many people struggled. I've since fixed this. So now these cars should be nice and responsive and fairly easy to drive. But you might have noticed a race doesn't normally consist of one car. So it's time to get the second car out. Two cars, two people, somewhere around the world, one central track. And it's time to test that with someone. My name's Kyle and I'm from Hinkley. Mate, uh, lower it when you're ready. Here we go again. Uh, oh, she's gone. Uh, oh, oh, it's taking his, oh! he's taking him on the outside. He's choked. Well, oh, oh, what oh, is no. this? There's another stoppage. Have oh, we gone first? Oh, gosh. It's going to the home straight. Come on. Oh Whoa. my God. Oh my, oh my God. He's getting a good line through it. Oh no. Oh, you blocked me again. This freaking bit of road. Uh, I'm stuck on a clip. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come ah. on. Oh, no. He's coming. He's coming around the final corner. My. Here he is. It oh, is. I've been team owned. <laughs> no. He's spun him out. Off he goes. Oh. Oh, I've had an absolute cracking combination of co For goodness sake, Kyle, if you block me on this goddamn <laughs> piece of road one more time. God, I'm terrible at Oh, that. and he takes the checkered flag. It's almost as if he made it. Oh, God, that was so much fun. Mate, those first two corners, you can go through them so quickly. If you yeah. Get to <laughs> you even closed the barrier so I can't get out. And that wraps up this project. I am very, very happy with how this has turned out. It's so much fun to play. I'd highly recommend you give it a go if you get the time. I'll be streaming this for an hour a day, every day this week. If it does well, I might, might go for longer. Y you don't know. So the times for that are gonna be on the screen right now. And the first stream will be on this day. And the last stream will be on this day, maybe. The earlier you get there, the higher chance you have of being at the front of the queue. When I did the Rocket League one, we had a five hour queue at one point. And with an hour stream, if you're five hours in the queue, you don't, you, you don't get a go. Thank you for watching me work this out. This is actually something I'm very proud of and I hope you enjoyed following me through this. If you really enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It means a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I've got plenty of ideas like this that I'm really excited to get out there. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.